Hi there. Yeah, I'm ringing about the Mondeo that you've got your brake in. Uh, do you still have the engine for it? Oh, brilliant. Uh, is it a petrol? Yep, good. Uh, is it a two litre? Oh, brilliant. Um, do you know if it's got a silver top or if it's got a black top to it, the rocker cover? Black, oh, it's a black top, brilliant. Uh, yeah, um, uh, how much are you looking for the engine? How much do you want for it? Hundred pounds. Oh, all right. Uh, can I can I come and get it at the weekend? Oh, brilliant. Right, I'll uh, I'll give you a call and I'll come and get it at the weekend. Great. Thanks a lot. Bye bye. I've got an engine for Alice. <laughs>here this is out of a I think it's a 2004 Mondeo um, so now we're just gonna get it off the trailer here and yeah I can start to clean it and take bits off it's not needed and stuff so let's lift it off all right we've got the engine up on a stand all we've got to do now is get that gearbox fitted to that engine and ah oh, for f right I'll stop in the video there this isn't really going as I was planning um, and the main reason is this thing uh, it's not the right engine or at least it is the right engine I mean it is definitely an engine from a Mondeo it's definitely got a black top as we can see unfortunately it's not a Ford engine now I'll, I'll give you a quick rundown of the difference between this engine and a Ford engine now what this engine is, is a Mazda engine, um, and it is the engine called a Duratec, it's not a Z-Tec. Um, the main difference with this engine is, is that as it's sat in the car, this side is the inlet, and this side is the exhaust. Now that it's in itself isn't a huge problem um, the problem I have now is that this is the engine mount now the lovely engine mount this one that I bought off of Shane Baker should fit there but as you can see this one doesn't because this engine mount is not for a Duratec engine so I mean that's not a huge problem I could just make new holes and adjust it and things like that so that isn't a massive massive problem um, the major problem I've got with it is here now I've got this set up in an engine stand at the moment just to be able to work on it and stuff but the major problem is here and here is the where the, the gearbox fits along here uh, so most Fords like the old CVH engines and the ZTEC engines have a, a bolt pattern on here for the bell house for the gearbox 
and they're all the same, which means you can basically get a ZVH engine or a ZTEC engine and you can bolt the same gearbox to it. Well, this is a Mazda engine, which means the Ford gearboxes don't fit on a Mazda engine. Uh, which then means that the gearbox that I've bought, which is this one, the IB5, has the Ford bolt pattern on it, which will fit the ZTEC engines and CVH engines and a lot of the old Fords, basically. Um, well, that, obviously, that bolt pattern isn't the same as a Mazda bolt pattern. And, well, obviously, this is a Ford engine. It's come out of a Mondeo. It's come out of a Ford. So a gearbox does fit onto it that does fit a Ford. So the simple answer would be, I'll get a gearbox that fits this engine then and just whack that in. What's the problem? Well, the problem is, is that the Mondeo gearbox that fits to this engine is a six-speed, which means it's massive uh, and it weighs a ton as well. So, it, I mean, it will fit in the car. It will fit in, in little Alice back there, but she's only got a tiny engine bay. Um, if I start to put a massive gearbox in there with this engine, then I'm going to have to take out probably more of the chassis. I'm going to have to have a special kind of a sort of a bracket made up for the gearbox to fit to the engine bay somehow. And yeah, all of that's possible. It's not a problem. Uh, but it's more work than, than I'm prepared to put into this project just because of this engine, basically. So, what's my options then? Well, there is a gearbox that fits this engine, um, a five-speed gearbox that does fit this engine. It was put in the old, I think it's the Mark III uh, RS 1800s. Well, I live up in northern Sweden. We didn't get many RS 1800s up here. There are a few in England, not many, but there are a few still knocking around. So I probably if I spent long enough and probably enough cash, I could get hold of an IB5 Plus, which is the gearbox in question, from England and get it shipped over here and that sort of stuff. But that's a lot of trouble. That's a lot of work. So, what do I do now then? Well, there's only really one solution as to what I can do. Well, get rid of that engine. I can't use it. Uh, as I put in the, the title of the video, it's the wrong engine for my project. I'm not saying it's the wrong engine for any conversion of any form like that. These are really, really good if you're going to use them for wheel, rear wheel drives, for example, because there's a lot more gearboxes that will fit that, the Type 9 and the MT75s, I think, for like, the transit and stuff like that. They'll fit this engine quite happily. But I don't want to start building a rear-wheel drive Ford Mark 1 Fiesta. I'm not interested in that at all. So basically, that engine's got to go. I'm not even going to bother with it. Hopefully, I can get rid of it, sell it on to somebody that wants a Duratec engine. Um, so yeah, if, you, if there's anybody out there that wants a Duratec engine and you're up in the northern Sweden or Swedenish, um, give me a message. Send me a message somehow, and I, I will sort it out. I mean. I can't really do a lot with it right now, so if somebody wants a cheapish engine, let me know and I'll get it to you. But right now, this is the plan. We'll get one of them. Right, this engine is a ZTEC engine. It is also a blacktop ZTEC engine. So this has the correct bolt pattern on the back here for that gearbox to fit. It also means that the lovely engine bracket that Shane Baker makes fits onto this engine. It bolts onto this stud that's sticking out there, there's another bolt there and then a longer one that goes into that hole at the back there. So no modifications needed, just bolt straight onto it. Now Mark 1 and Mark 2 Mondeos are getting harder and harder to find in Sweden. So this one has come straight from the scrapyard. Um, I ordered a complete engine from the scrapyard. It's missing bits. It's missing the actual black rocker cover that's supposed to be on there. It's also missing 
both the camshaft pulleys. It's also missing uh, down here. It's also missing the crankshaft pulley on here and the water pump pulley. I've been told by the scrap that they are sending me the correct parts, so I'm waiting for them next week. Um, so as soon as they arrived, I can get on with the rest of this project. Uh, so please, please, please drop me a comment if you notice anything I need, um, just to make this life a bit easier. And I'll get a video put out as soon as I can with a, a list of everything. And I'm hoping to be everything that you need to do this. Um, Obviously, it's a bit different if you're running a Mark II or a Mark I, and I'm running a Mark I. Um, some parts will be different from Mark II, and some parts will be different from a black top and a Z silver top ZTEC engine and things like that, but I'll try and get it as complete as possible. So, if you like what you've seen in this video, press that subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks a lot, and bye-bye.